You know it's 53 degrees Fahrenheit here in the San Gabriel, particularly in the Pasadena, San Marino area, 53 degrees, and it's raining. You know, I can remember back when I first started drinking coffee. Try to make this short. You know, when I used to work for the phone company AT&T, specifically Pacific Bell, Pacific Telexes, and all those different kinds of names, Air Touch, you name it, all the subsidiaries. I learned how to make a big pot of coffee by watching my predecessors make coffee. All the big old pots. I forget how many gallons that is, but they were really big. Just it doesn't do it justice, but they were really big pots of coffee. Clean them out each early morning because I used to work the midnight shift. And so we began to make the coffee for the day shift when they first come in at 6.30, 7 a.m. So I learned how to make coffee. I learned how to do it well. This was pre-Starbucks. We were still going to places like Winchell's. In fact, we used to have a... Uh, a donut person. I call it a donut person. I never did really find out, but it was a different company. Came in, came in every night around 4 p.m. 4 p.m. I mean 4 a.m. 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. with donuts. But we make our own coffee. Those were very enjoyable times. But once I started making coffee and learn how to do it well, people started to like my coffee. We couldn't do it without the coffee in the morning. That was, that was how we socialized. Usually the coffee is done by noon, but sometimes we make a residual pot. Because back in those days, you either smoked, had coffee, you smoke and had coffee. You smoke coffee breakfast. Or you didn't have nothing but coffee and a cigarette. Not necessarily in that order because not everyone did the same thing all the time. But in Hollywood, Gower Gulch, on Sunset and Gower, right across the street, right across the street from some of the famous studios that ever was, there used to be a liquor store there. Well, this liquor store went out of business. They sell a lot of food, of course, and liquor. The store was famous because they had these decanters, these big ceramic decanters that were full of whiskey, you know, turkeys, different types of animals and stuff like that. Well, they closed that up and up pops the Starbucks. So Starbucks was starting to take over the chores. Even though we still made coffee, if you wanted something extra, it was Starbucks. And that was when I started joining Starbucks way back then. I started doing Starbucks. I made myself afford the coffee, as I said before, a long time ago, I first started this video. Yeah, I afford to buy the, co the coffee. I afford it to buy the coffee. When you pay that kind of money for coffee and knowing that it's going up in prices, you know you have the choice. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it at all. But I'm still buying it. I buy it more. This is a turkey provolone. And today I got 15 more points. Oleato. Shaken. Oleato coffee. Iced. Not hot. And you know it's delicious. 
I kind of frowned on it at first. But I think it could be good for you because it got this oil in it. And yes, you still got choices. I can either get the cheese toast or the new chicken honey sandwich. Or I can stick with the lunch for breakfast. Turkey provolone. It just fills the need. That's all it does. I didn't feel like walking in the rain and going to the other places. It's enough that when I roll down the window, the rain comes down and I have to use a towel to wipe off my window seal. And yes, I paid nearly $15 for both the grande and the turkey provolone. Seven dollars and 40 cents each, or around that. This is Robin Champs. I'll see you in my next video. I got some more coming and not necessarily spontaneously. See you in my next video, folks. Talk to you later.